Nobody looks at emails. I'm available. I got it. I, I wasn't invited. Uh, <laughs> we could look at it on the prophecy up in the turret. No, want. let's just do it right here. What was it? Just gonna be me and you, Jason? I want to. No, look. Dougie's gonna be there. Oh. Bennett's gonna be there. Bobby's gonna be there. I'm here. Okay. I'm here too. Why are we here? We are here Rail to look at MG3 rail testing. Can we yeah. stop saying that? MG3? Yes. It rolls right off the tongue. I get it, but like, it's such an internal thing. It is. What's so, it really called? By the way, like, even, even MGT is hard for people we to don't know. Even like, do, yeah. But I believe it's now just called the modular table. We've sort of dropped the game. We should it's not call it that. Yeah. A ton of people have no interest in gaming. They think gaming on a table, they think, they <laughs> think like, poker. Like they think right. gambling. Yeah. Craps, right. poker. Yeah. Most people think. Gambling. So, so the, then it makes even less sense. Yeah, MG3, it, we're getting rid of the G. But Mark, <laughs> yeah, we got rid of, yeah, it's MC3. like M3. modular gaming. M3, yeah. yeah. We're going to look at accessories yes. for modular. our modular tables. Great. We call them hobby tables. Hobby tables? Yeah, I don't like that. Hobby. Oh, by the way, I think we're going with uh, the hobby helper. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Hamburger helper. Ugh. I was explaining this to Jason. I personally think that hobby, 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 I think it's all confusing. We have like the hobby shelf and the hobby vault. vault. And think of how often you fuck those names up. And now we're adding in like a third hobby accessory. I don't have a solution. So that's a, criti <laughs> that's a criticism on my part. Okay. So we make a table, mm -hmm. that table has a magnetic rail yep. and also a internal vault surface. And we've made silicone this inserts. But yeah. we're, right now we call them hobby inserts. Right, we call these <laughs> hobby inserts. The idea, hobby is, inserts. the idea is to create a modular silicone system. system. Yeah, it's a system. It's a series of things that can make your table do better with your hobbies or your whatever yeah. the hell you're using your table for. Some, That's the concept. So now, so we have the hobby inserts, which I think is good. I get, we're trying to create the hobby system. What if we then, cause now we have a small hobby, a medium hobby and a large hobby accessory that holds them. What if it was like light, pro, not, not these words, sure, but like sure. something it's that it was fashion. like hobby small, hobby medium, hobby large. That like tier structure might be a little more clear. Hobby trough. Called the hobby trough. Oh, the mega trough. The mega hobby trough. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It's clean. These are all terrible. <laughs> They're all but terrible. It's a great product. Yeah. Let's yeah. get to the, the, the meat and potatoes. Hot. First of all, we went over the chonky boy. Yeah. Very thick bottom. It was level with the armrest when you put it in upside down because we wanted that writing surface capability. Yep. It fits all of our things nice and flush. What we didn't like. And what was an issue was trying to figure out this surface problem. So we decided we're going to do an undercut slot and we cut it down and made it the same thickness for the next version as like our regular accessories. That turned into this guy, version mm. number two. So we're nice and flat. We got the undercut in here, which we tested. It looked great and all that other stuff. The problem with this one is that if you look, I could probably push straight through that bottom there. Yeah. Mm. See it's it really, bubbling? It's really thin. That's not, no bueno. Jason, think of the bottom up. I cut it out again. So we're about a quarter inch thick underneath <laughs> nice between one. here and here yeah. instead of like an eighth of an inch. Pretty sweet. Boom. That's nice. Not uh, terrible. And then these guys sit slightly raised up. Yep. Not much. You can see that it's like maybe a quarter inch or something. We'll get Ian's opinion, because we've always had problems with the leather. Leather. What's wrong with the leather? Leather. We've had problems with the big big boys that getting a big piece of leather without any problems. Without any problems. It's a natural material, so the bigger you get, the more imperfections you're gonna see. Yeah. You get because we're trying to and avoid warping that. and holes and things like that. Yep. It does fit pretty nice, and it's kind of just like, you know, an upgraded insert surface, right. which is pretty cool. So it probably would, I would say, come with a felt and then maybe the leather is just an upgrade. An upgrade. One concern with the leather, varies it in varies thickness. in thickness. You know, this felt is all sure. exactly the same thickness. So if we've got this groove in here, are we gonna send you a leather that you just it doesn't fit. can't get in there, it you doesn't fit? Always wanted to get is like a leather skyther. Skeeve? Skeeve? Skeeve. Yeah. Basically like a planer that like shaves the leather to a 
perfectly consistent thickness. Couldn't we, in theory, get rid of a lot of our existing accessories with this format? We could. We, we could, could get rid of like mm. half of it them. It could retire. Mm. Like, we wouldn't even need, we could make an insert that holds cards. Right. And you could just put it in there and now you don't even need to buy this. Oh well. Derailed. Oh yeah, totally big, derailed. Big time derailed. We don't, we don't need to make an insert, just put it inside. Well, You're insert, good. yeah, there you go. Put a little magnetic rail in here. <laughs> Shut up, stop, shut up. It is a good point though, Matt. This is the problem with like iterative designs. As you evolve, you like cannibalize the old stuff. Yeah. And it's like, do you even need the old stuff now that you have yeah. new stuff? Yes, I think this will be a winner winner chicken dinner. I do agree with CEO Matt's position, which is that yes, I think this actually could cannibalize and it should cannibalize. To me, if, if a product you come out with starts to cannibalize sales of other products you make, that's a win. That means your product line is getting better, right? No one's going out trying to buy the iPhone from 2018, sure. right? They're trying to buy the new iPhone because mm. it's better. And I think that's where this kind of is going. It almost cannibalizes both ways. Because well, it's like, oh, yeah, I can see like, we yeah. don't really need that anymore. Nope. But also, I think this might be better than the hobby shelf, too. But the hobby shelf, this is like a nicer... Eh, no, nice it's too that's small. Nice. We don't need to make these decisions. The customers the make people. these decisions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right? The yeah. customers make the decisions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> These are very different types of products. Yeah. This is a nicer, higher end experience that is less general, it's more specific. Yeah. You know, because it has the nice rounded sides, it's solid wood, it's very high class. This is, a lot of times, overkill. It all depends on the context in which it's being used. I think it's super awesome. How will it roll? Can you roll in it? it you can yeah. roll Are you gonna lose a die? You're not uh, oh, you're over. Well, whoa, well, whoa, well. I mean, yes, you can roll. By the way, if you really want to roll a little that's bit. That's a weak roll. Yeah, that's, yeah. Boom, we, there we can't go. Roll. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. If you want an, a man's roll, you put in an actual. Roll. Right, throw that in there. It's kind of stupid look, but if I had really, really expensive gemstone dice, this that's true. is for sure the safest way to roll a gemstone die. Very you safe roll. rolling so If you fill that with Cheez-Its, it doesn't look dumb anymore. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but if you put the only thing that's that true. I'm looking forward to for this accessory is to have my food not on my DM. Your chips and them Yeah, yeah I just want to have my snacks yeah. and my stuff. That is a snack trough. Change that is a snack like trough. You could, you could, you could get your, you can get your. <laughs> <session> <laughs> you can get your snout, you get your snout <laughs> right in there. <laughs> this is made out of wood. Yes. Okay, mm. just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and wood, when it's properly machined, sanded, and finished to a high quality, yeah. is relatively expensive compared to other materials, like plastics, silicones. Yeah. Wood is relatively expensive. Yeah. It's luxury. It is. It's, it's high price, it's nice. I wanna bring prices as low as possible, yeah. have as many customers as possible, and bring them in. And so, my challenge to Jason was, I want to get the basics yeah. in a more affordable format, or a more affordable solution for the basics. So the, the four basics we talked about was small cup holder, large cup holder, component organizer, and card organizer. Almost everybody gets these. This is like the starter pack. Yeah. So, these guys are very, very, very similar. The worst part about these wooden and metal ones is that these guys don't nest into each other. Right. So you have like four of these large cup holders. You can't like store them in an efficient manner at all. So I worked on combining the two and making them nestable. Mm. So we basically have nesting cup holders that have a large and a small insert that kind of nest together. Basically we would have three injection molded accessories. We'd have the card holder, the component organizer, and then the cup holder that dual functions large and small. Are these going to be offered as separate price points or is it gonna package deal into like a new table sort of thing? These will probably be sets of four. Mm -hmm. So instead of buying like one of these, you get like a four set. This is for the folks that are budget conscious, budget conscious or they wanna invest in, the, in their games and not necessarily their game table as much. This would be a welcomed addition yeah. at a low price point. This is aesthetically superior, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. If you have the budget. I don't think anyone's arguing that like 
this is gonna look as nice as this. Mm. Right. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it allows room to make priorities in what you want to invest in, right. and still gives you functionality. The only thing right. I'm not sold on is, when you're sold it, on. it does the middle range of like a medium sized thing not very well. Because mm. what happens is if it's like, a really big thing fits really well, really small thing fits really well. When you have a medium one, it Who can cares? just want to rock over. Is it worth even having this? As opposed to just, uh, we could just large just, flat bottom, just do like it's that. This. Mm. Yeah. It'd still nest. I actually don't think there's any compromises with getting rid of the little guy. So you want to just make it, you're on team yeah, flat like bottom. If your can moves around a little bit, it's not going to knock over. Right. Mm -hmm. It yeah, would make much. it, if so, if we're designing racks and holders that are designed mm. to space appropriately yeah, with this, with it would things. then be the same with this. Yep. Thinking modularly. Yep. So that keeps mm. them the same marish. Modular. To me, a proper, I'll call it a gaming table, I know it's not a gaming table, it's a modular table, but sort of this level of table. It's you need topper storage and you're gonna need some cup holders or component organizers. Basic Gotta accessories. Hold the, I wanna get that in at the ground floor level because yeah. you're really not getting the full experience of the table if you're like if you just buy the table and no accessories with it it doesn't feel nice as good yeah doesn't it's a nice feel table. As good. well it does have the vault which is yeah. really nice in gaming it isn't it is nice gaming in sure. a vault you're just not getting the most out of it you're right exactly we're still going to offer the wooden one yes, yes of course just yeah, as yeah, a, yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, and honestly, okay. like, yeah, you should get the wooden ones if you can afford it. It's just a question of can you afford it, right? You're the, it's they like, are. if you can't, we don't want to punish you. Correct. Yeah. yeah. You so, feel like you know what your next yeah. steps are on so, this? So, one, we're okay with one injection molded cup holder, because we had talked about doing yeah. two. No, I love one. Just one? Love okay, one. so we'll have three plastic accessories. Unless mm -mm. you want to get one of these. No, that's not a basic accessory. That's a luxury accessory. Okay. Thing is, it does, yeah, that does block you out of... <laughs> A whole system. A whole, whole system. system. Yeah, like you don't have that dip your toe into a system entry or, level thing. And we could bring up do it where... Hey, hey, to bring up Bennett's oh, point. Chicken. Get rid of this little shit. Right. No beans. That's right. his point. That was that's, Matt's point. That's point. Make a card insert yep. and then awesome. hobby holder, hobby helper, hobby... Ben. Hamburger holder. Hamburger helper. See. Okay. <laughs> this and or these. And yep. this then, we've got a, There's a whole huge bunch of variety of these. Yeah, we're still gonna offer the wooden one. Yes, yes of course. course. Just yeah, as yeah, a, yeah. Yep. yeah, no, and honestly, okay. like, yeah, you should get the wooden ones if you can afford it. It's just a question of can Everybody you afford knows. it, right? You're the, it's yeah. like, if you can, we don't want to punish you. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's do one of these. Cool. Is that crazy? Okay, so that and not these. Yeah, not yeah, these. Boom. Okay. That's nice. Boom. Two. Two. Two, two skews. Two skews. Like two. Great. Awesome. Is it Vera approved? I don't know. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs> When are we gonna have gyroids? Ah, uh, talk to Nick G. I don't know. Nick G doesn't make anything happen. <laughs> we we know Nick G. <laughs>